It will heal their life. Now y'all know that scripture, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? And he said, I, he will forgive what? Sins. Our sin. Where we missed the mark. Right? Mm -hmm. But I'm going to ask you a question because God just pointed out to me. When you look at this scripture, what are the two key words in this scripture that should get our attention? It's just two words in that whole scripture. What do you think it is, Reverend Williams, Reverend, Reverend Williams? Give my people. The people I said two words. Two. Oh. Humble and pray. Humble and pray. Hmm. If then. What would you say? If then. Oh, if then. Reverend, I wasn't going to ask him. Hmm. Reverend Nolan, can you can you say that a little louder, please? <laughs> if then. The two most if important then. words in that scripture is if and then. And then. Now, why do we say that? Cause and if. Say, what's your name? <laughs> Tina, you the one that made the food? <laughs> you must want to hurry up and eat. All right. <laughs> if you choose, meaning that we have a responsibility first. See, we put all on, all on God. God said, no, no, no. I need you to make a choice first. Come on. If. You call yourself my people. Mm -hmm. What does it say? And if you first, and if you humble yourself, mm -hmm. and if you pray, and if you seek my face, and if you turn from your wicked ways, look at all we got to do. God says, then, I will forgive your sin. If. Hmm? Mm -hmm. See, it's not enough to say, say God, I'm sorry. Mm. God said, look, that sounds good, mm -hmm. but I'm looking for some godly sorrow. Hmm. See, there's a difference between telling God you're sorry and having godly sorrow. The difference with godly sorrow is I'm so upset about what I did, I don't ever, 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 and won't ever, ever do it no more, God. Yeah. That's, I'm repenting you, telling you, I'm done with doing that. Hmm? I'm done with that. I don't want to do that no more. I want you to forgive me. And the only way you can forgive me, like King David, I can't do that no more. And by the way, I wanted to add something to what Pastor Nolan talked about on Sunday. You know what Moses, David, and Paul had in common? They all killed somebody, but God still used them. All right. Why? Because they repented. Well, Moses didn't repent, but that's another subject. But God still used them. Okay? But if not, notice what here. Then God says, when you do your part, then I'll do my part. Yeah, yeah. See, we forget. We got a part in this program right here. Especially when it comes to forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pastor Nolan? Yeah. See, I know I'm going to hear from Pastor Nolan later because he's going to tell me that was good. I can tell it already. I could. Now I'm starting to learn your husband. See, I used to think, ooh, he's upset. Come to he wasn't upset at all. <laughs> Just the opposite. All right, come on, real quick. We got a few more minutes. I'm in, now go with me to Psalms. Did y'all get that? So now when you see that scripture from now on and you hear that scripture, you see that scripture. If my people, mm. which are called by my name, yeah. you see his name is forgiver of iniquity, forgiver of transgressions, and forgiver of sins. I need y'all to remember that. That's the name that lives inside of you. So don't ever say again, I can't forgive. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, yeah. Stop lying to yourself. Yes, you can. Oh, yeah. You just have to choose it. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Here we go. I'm in Psalms chapter 25. And trust me, your Bible is full of this. And know this, when you read your Bible about God from now on, you'll see all the times where God was a forgiver. He was long-suffering. He was gracious. He was kind. He was forgiving because that's his nature. All right? I'm in Psalms chapter 25, verse 18. And I'm, we, get to, we get to the closing here. 25, 18. Psalm 25, 18. Psalm 25, 18. Look at what King David wrote. Look upon my affliction and my pain. God is not unmindful of what we're going through. Right. Because the Bible says offenses must come because we have to be tried. God says, you say you want that? I'm going to try you and see. Hmm. And if God spared not his own son, he's surely not going to spare us. Praise the Lord. Hmm? Amen. 
Because he knew what Israel was going to do, but he allowed Israel to do what they did so he could prove to them. Now notice, even when they made that golden calf that they never repented over making that calf. You don't read where Aaron repented over sure partaking did. in that. Sure did. You don't see that. And all the time that they rebelled, God still gave them water. God still gave them manna. But God said, all you rebellious ones, I'm still going to be merciful to you, but you ain't going to the promised land. I can't let this attitude in where, where, where I'm taking y'all. Right, right, right. So y'all gonna stay out here in the wilderness until y'all all die off. I can't do that. Because my mercy and love and what I got for you over here, I can't let that attitude over here. Same way with us in eternity. God said, I got you, need you to deal with this unforgiveness before I bring you over here. Are y'all out there? Right. Notice what he said here in 18. He said, look upon my affliction and my pain and forgive all my sins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Forgive all the times I've missed the mark. God, I need you to forgive. God says, okay, because you're serious. I'm going to forgive you. Huh? And when God forgives, I'm getting ready to show you another scripture, but I don't want to get there too quick. Let's go to uh, Psalm uh, 86 5. Hey, Psalms 86 5. Is this good? Come on. Yes, it is. All right, it's good, it's good, it's good. When you learn about God's goodness, especially when it comes to his forgiveness. And his son was the same way. Jesus was the same way. I'm in Psalm, 80, uh, Psalm 86, and I'm in verse 5. For thou, Lord, art good. And what? Huh? Notice what he said. God, you're good. Now this is the man that killed a man, had sex with a man's wife, got her pregnant, and wanted to keep the baby. God said, I can't let you do that. I can't let you do that. But I don't know if y'all know this. Jewish history says that because of that sin, you know why how David got the testimony, a man after God's own heart? Mm -mm. You know how he got that testimony? Because when God checked him through the prophet Nathan, uh, uh, is it Nathan? Nathan? When God checked him, the Bible says that David prayed seven times a day. That's where the Muslims get that from. Seven times a day for 13 years. Now think about that. Hmm. David went to sleep. That's my cue right now. Five minutes. Uh, David wet up his bed in tears seven times a day to seek after God to forgive him for what he had done to God. Because the, the Bible did say, against thee and against thee only have I what? <laughs> Missed the mark. Mm -hmm. That's how he became a man. After he, <coughs> he wanted God's heart that proves God has a heart. Mm -hmm. See, we forget God has a heart too. Hmm? God has feelings. I told you that. All right, so notice what we see here. Uh, where am I at? Five. He's ready to forgive us. And we can't take his forgiveness for granted. Right, right. We can't do that. But again, notice what he said. And plenteous in mercy unto who? All. Unto who? All. All. Them. That do what? If my people, which are called my, by my name, call me, I'll forgive them. Hmm? Pastor Noah? Hmm? I'm in the last scripture. Here we go. I'm getting ready to close. I'm in Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 31. Good. It's good. I love the word of God. Not me. I'm talking about God. God is word. I'm in Jeremiah I'm in chapter 31. And I'm in verse 34. There was a lot going on here. God was talking about making his name known. Because God always, even in what we do and what we go through daily. God wants to make his name known. And he makes his name known by our actions. 
sense. We make his name known by our actions of love and forgiveness and humility. I'm in verse 34. The Bible reads, and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, know the Lord. For they shall all know me. From the least of them unto the greatest of them. They all will, saith the Lord. And notice what we read here. Hmm? I love that brother back there. See, that's what I'm used to when we when we preach and teach stuff that goes on all the time. We're preaching it. Don't, we love that. I love that. Notice what it says there. What does it say, saints? I will forgive their what? Iniquity. What is he saying? I will forgive them of their premeditated choices. I will forgive them for doing things with no repentance. Every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. See you know that? what that means? That? Even over time, God's going to forgive Lucifer. Hmm. He will. Now, he won't, skip, he won't get out of the lake of fire. God ain't going to let him out of there. But God said, I'm going to forgive that. Hmm? He says, what? Then it say, wait a minute, now let me rephrase it. For I will. Now, that means I will. That doesn't mean he, 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 that doesn't mean I'll think about it. Like we do sometimes, I'll think about forgiving yeah. them. Maybe I'll forgive them. God says, no, I'll forgive them. I will pardon them. I will exonerate them. I will vindicate them. Uh -huh. Forgive their iniquity.